morning. Good morning, guys. We're in there. We got in. Yeah. What a walk. You need to come early if you are coming here tomorrow, Saturday, on Sunday. You need to get here early. We we're a bit later today than yesterday, and we ended up parking right Almost up. back in Telford. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have a will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world. Morning, guys. Morning. Welcome back to the NEC. Day two for us. It's a sunny day. Yeah, Friday the 25th, is it today? Yep. Just gone about half past 10, quarter to 11. A lot of traffic today. A lot more traffic today. We've been shoved onto the bar car parks, but look, what a lovely sunny day. Loads of campers here as well, motorhomes. At the moment, we're taking a walk down into here rather than taking the bus. <laughs> Why not? Right, catch you inside. Morning. Morning, guys. We're in now. We got in. What a walk. You need to come early if you are coming here tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday. You need to get here early. We were a bit later today than yesterday and we ended up parking right Almost up. back in Telford. <laughs> yeah. What a walk. There was a bus, we decided to walk, so it was short. Yeah. It wasn't in the end. No. So, yeah, day two. Good day yesterday, I think. Awesome day. Yeah, so some, as you saw last night, the one I put out last night, some good uh, van conversions, uh, 4x4 conversions. Today we'll have a look at a few more and some uh, A classes and some motorhomes yep. for you. So uh, let's see what we can find. So we'll find so you. Catch you in a minute. Bye. Look at this one here, it's West Valley, based on an MAN truck. Um, quite a quirky bit on the side, which we'll come to in a minute. It's mad here, you know, it is really, really busy. I struggled to do a lot of filming today, I think. But this West Valley, short wheel based, MAN based on 75,000, 76,000 all built. It's on a uh, 2 litre TDI Euro 6, 130kW, 8 speed automatic gearbox, total road price 90,500. Well, 90, it's AMAN. Um, I think that's the same as a Crafter, could be wrong. Crafter vehicle. What I like about this one is that if you have a look in the back here with the garage area, you've got the garage area here. That went on back doors. This is this here, look. The side, it pops out at the side here. And all that is there to give you more headroom, sleeping. Is this here? It's a clever idea, that. So it's just a, like the side window which pops out, giving that a bit more headroom. So at night time, in the daytime when you're travelling, all you do is push that up, pull that up there. Flip that back in like a window. Be all right if you got on both sides. That would. So yeah, we'll have a look inside. So this van's 5.98 meter, just under six meter, three and a half ton. Obviously, you got a good shower unit here. So we'll get into it. Good shower unit. Toilet. Shower cubicle. Mirror. Hello. 
Obviously only have two berth. Capstan chairs. Let's say they're built on an MAN. Three and a half tonner. Just under six metre auto. Again, they've only got this small, like in the old, um, in the pop top little camper vans. You think they'd have a cooker in a and um, a cooker and everything. It's nice. Where's the fridge? Is there a fridge? I can't see a fridge. Unless it's in the bottom here. No, I can't see no fridge. It's just hiding somewhere. Cupboard space. Cupboard space, and as I say, you got that at the back. So it's only a short wheelbase, six metre. So yeah. So yeah. Here we go. So yeah, you have a coach and Mercedes. Mercedes Sprinter, Mercedes Benz, based on. Nice big van, purpose built, obviously into the motorhome uh, category now with this one. The TM565. Garage in the back end here, look. Big garage area in the back. Both sides access. Get your gas. Gas locker, no doubt. Double bottles. So what's this one? It's a Travel Master 565. And that price is 109,000. 110,000 all but. It's a four and a half ton, 4,500 kilos. And um, body height, body length is eight meter. It's an eight meter vehicle. See if we can get inside. Nice luxury this goes. Obviously on Mercedes, based on Mercedes. Got your captain shares. Really crap built these aren't they? Coaching. Obviously you got your full cooker, have a look at it. Four burner and a hob as well, electric. But yeah. Good size sink. Nice as well, can I click click? Lockers, storage over the top. I like that as well up the front end. Got a good sun um, window at the top. They're known for building good uh, vehicles, coachmen are. Well, caravans normally. Obviously got the fridge there, wherever you open it, good sized fridge, got a little freezer box no doubt, you're going to have your separate toilet and shower no doubt, yeah, got your bed area at the back, two singles, we'll make it in one big double, nice Shower cubicle. Probably three berth, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it, there. the coach. TM565, that's nice inside that is. Have a look inside there, yeah. That's quality. Quality. How much could be? Not those, how much was it? 109,000. 109,000. I'd rather have me over before. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Eco Daily. Seven and a half tonner. That's the next. <laughs> next project. Yep. Right. Let's uh, carry on looking around. Let's do it. Catch you in a bit. Yeah, the lady was just saying about that coachman then uh, motorhome. Mm -hmm. I love built from Mercedes. She said they've only been doing them a couple of years, and they coachman. Yeah, yeah. Brought out by a Swedish company. Yeah. So obviously they've gone into motorhomes as well because the company bought them out for a motorhome company. It's so, gorgeous. Oh, well, a, well you, you saw inside. Mind you, for the price wants to be, but nice, very nice. Very nice. We want to find some more uh, motorhomes now, A classes and uh, proper motorhomes. Uh, proper motorhomes, as in. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's <a> motor. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. No, ours are um, self build ours are, aren't they? Self build camper vans. We're looking there at obviously the uh, A classes and the purpose built motorhomes. Yeah. So, uh, go and see what we can find. Yeah. See you in a minute. Built motor on, obviously. Prestige. These are well known company again. Look at this one here if we can get in. So, 50. Prestige 150. 2003 model, 2023, 65,000, 66,000, all but a few pounds. Built on a uh, Urgeo, by the looks of it. Quick look inside. Built on a Peugeot, is it? Yeah. Nice, spacious again, front end, don't they? Taps in chairs, no doubt. That'll be storage. You have to press the two buttons probably there. Obviously, six speed, yeah, the hatch. Six speed manual by looks of say built on Peugeot. Full cooker as well, this one looks. Yeah. So you got full cooker, yeah. It's got these induction knobs. A lot of these got these electrical induction knobs now on these. So you've got three burner, microwave, yeah. And it's got the same as in ours, isn't it, really? You've got the pretty grill and everything, yeah. Good size sink, plenty of storage space as well. Another hatch. Yeah, I'll have a quick look at that. You have to look very. You have to be. That's a small bed, isn't it? The bed looks really small. What's that for dwarfs? Unless it pulls out a bit more. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it pulls. <laughs> so you pull that out, it comes down. Fridges around here, got a fridge as well, is that two-way one? Might be a two-way fridge. Fridge freezer. Again, plenty of storage. Any room for telly? Got telly anywhere? Where's the telly? No telly? TV? Probably, I don't know. Yeah, there. Bathroom again. Size bathroom there, shower room. Little air vent in the top. Hello! I like the, have you seen the, the sink in here, the little bowl? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? It's a good size, isn't it? Yeah. Again, look. Keep on about ours. Get your plugs there, look. 240. It's nice. Mm. As Robert say, I like that. I like Happy that. with that. Happy with that. When you rub. Right, let's have a look. Get some of the others. So this is in one, another one of theirs. Again, on a Peugeot 6 speed. More seating area in this one. I think this has got a drop down bed as well. This has got a drop down bed in it. Obviously, got a little lounge area at the back so it goes to a bed. So, this is probably still four. And you've got that bed that drops all the way down. That would drop literally all the way down to there. The bathroom again is going to be quite spacious, no doubt. Same as the other spec on the other one. Bathroom cubicle. Be a four berth this one. Four berth one that look, it's got a bed that just drops down the front there. Just drops all the way down. And that's the prestige 196 67,000 2023 model. 
quite big inside that one it's got like a um a lounge area at the back end where you have mm -hmm. your table that which you go to a bed or you've got the drop down bed as well so. it's got a big space in the back hasn't it for you the 194 this press eldest again they're all eldest obviously these and this is the, the prestige 194 Let's see if we can grab a look in this one in a minute they are nice aren't they mm -hmm. Your Prestige 194, similar to that other one at the front end we've just been in. No doubt, same bathroom, same setup with the cookers and that. Yeah, that's all the same. But at the back end, because you've got that big garage on this one, you've got that raised bed area because of the garage. No two beds there, no doubt. Has it got a drop down? No. No drop down bed, so that must go to bed. Probably only a two berth there. Yeah, two berth. Maybe that goes down to some sort of bed. So there you go. Right, let's go and see what else we can find. This is good. You can stick kids in the in the garage. Are you? You am in the doghouse. Big doghouse. <laughs> Gizmo's bedroom. That's Gizmo's bed. Yeah. Wow. So that's in the garage. That is, isn't it? That's wonderful. <laughs> if you need an extra bed, there you go. Really cool, it is, I suppose, really. You just push it up out of the way when you're not using it. But... It's not secluded off, you can actually go straight through. Yeah. Rather than literally locked in the garage. I'll tell you what would be good though, wouldn't it? If you parked up beside the beach, just open that door and you've got to see view. Yeah, <laughs> the kids run off at night. Auto sleepers based on a uh, Fiat Decato, no doubt. Yeah, auto sleeper for Warwick. This is uh, quite a nice layout. This one is. It's a, um, it's a layout there. Look, 6.3 meter, 71 there. Well, 72,000 virtually. Three and a half ton. Claire's already in it and bought it. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? I'm going to drive it. You're not going to drive it? I am. How oh, are you going to drive this one? Yeah. Because that's got a separate uh, shower cubicle as well as toilet. That's a good little setup, isn't it? I like that. Auto and Decato. Cooker in this one, look. Three yeah. burner. Enough. Yeah, I know, but like, like, see that good size uh, sink as well. Oh, that's a little quick bits on the sink on the lid. Yeah, on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when it comes down, that's good. Yeah, that's cute. That's clever. And then obviously it sleeps too. This goes into a big bedroom area at the back here, doesn't it? I like the colours as well. So it's a two berth, obviously. Hey, the colours. It is nice, I like the colours. All the lockers as well. 
Oh, they're strong. <laughs> oh, that's why, because you press the button on the side. <laughs> Got the hatches on the top as well. Yeah, it's nice that. Fridge as well, quite a big fridge. There. You can pull it at the side there. It's quite a biggish fan, this, isn't it? I suppose obviously you have to sit, like ours has got an area where you can sit down the bottom. This hasn't, has it? It's all up the back end here, which is bedroom area as well. Aircon unit as well, look. Microwave. I like the bathroom though, that's quite good. Another hanging cabinet. Yeah. Very nice. Get out my van. Okay, I will. See you. Got this one here from the uh, Roller Team, which is a uh, uh, on a Ford Transit basis, three and a half ton. Got the big cab over sleeping compartment. Um, just shy of seven meter long. It's got this big, massive um, garage area on the back end there, look, which is mainly obviously for carrying quad bikes, probably. Uh, go-karts if you're into your sports there you go rafting rowing climbing sports all sort of climbing sports bikes i'll try and get a, a look inside in a minute sports edition what a garage that is wow so you get a quad bike into there, wouldn't you? Quad bike, electric bikes, go-karts, if you're into karting. Yeah. Some garage, that is. I love that garage. Wow. Yeah, we'll have a look into it in a minute. That's short of 57,000. We'll have a look inside in a sec. Get your bike in there, wouldn't you? In there. <laughs> Let's go and have a look inside, eh? Right, guys, look into this one. Look at that for a, as they call a slap head. <laughs> wow. So you've got, obviously, based on a Ford, seven, uh, six speed gearbox, Ford Transit. Captain seats, all leather, this is. Nice leather. And then you've got the table. Claire's going to the toilet. <laughs> It's, a, it's nice. Have you seen the upholstery? All leather. That's nice. Obviously, you've got that big bed on the back end, big double bed on the back end. So, you've got the kitchen, you've got a double burner by the looks of it. Oh, three. Three burner. And then you've got your cooker, sink, little locker boxes there, fridge. Take it, that must be a fridge, is it there? Uh, oh, getting knocked up behind. Yeah, fridge, freezer. Pull out freezer. People in the garage. <laughs> looks like that goes up and down, so you can hire that up, up take it down by the looks of it. And then, uh, it's a nice shower cubicle, isn't it? isn't it? Some of these vans have got some cool shower cubicles and toilets and bathrooms, haven't they? Got the colour of that as well. Bit of vent as well. Nice sink. Hello. <laughs> it's alright. It? It's just the slap head bit you don't like, do you? No. Yeah, it's nice that. It's nice for a family because you sleep obviously two up the top. Then obviously two at the back. Don't know whether these go into a bed, probably some sort of single bed or something. Does he say on here then when he sleeps? Let's have a look. Yeah, sleeps four, four seat belts traveling. 3,500 kilo and it's the 2.2 based on a Ford, Ford Transit. So yeah, but it was. It's on a Ford Transit base. That's the 290. From Marcus again, which is this one, which is the the T90, which is 98,000, is it? 98,500. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, got a bed over the front again. This is nice as, as well again. It's very much 
it's, it's quite so, yeah but the back end you got the because it's longer obviously you've got the bedroom at the back here look quite yes, a big bedroom beds, yes. this will have yeah this is that's, uh that's nice. yeah that's only a two berth this is going to be a four because obviously you've got the same sort of setup for the the fridge the telly the freezer and everything you've got the cooker the same sort of setup with the cooker and everything that's nice there where well, that folds out probably does it or something yeah, yeah folds in there oh yeah <laughs> like that <laughs> again you got your captain's chair you got a big lounge area and the bed it drops down but then look at this at the back end like that. yeah so you've got cupboards at the side big hatch and i like this here then you've got to shower cubicle on this side which obviously once that's going to be the toilet that's out the way and you've got the toilet bathroom here on the other side and then no doubt you pull the there's going to be something here to separate it no doubt is it always oh, now that's does this when this goes there oh, that, that goes there and that then is is your privacy hello <laughs> yeah yeah there's robert say happy with that <laughs> All your controls. Yeah, it's a nice van. Again, this is going to be just shy of seven and a half meters long. Got good uh, space. You've got, a, you've got obviously a good sized garage on this one in the back end. Put awning on the side. They're nice vans, aren't they then? Yeah, that's Kiot 90. Looks like they do a, what was the other one there? They do a, a 90, that's the 90, is it? They also do a 95. So the 95. Can we have an ice cream? <laughs> Again, you've got the double bed at the front there, which is drop down bed. Slightly different, because obviously you've got the lounge area on the back end of this one, which must probably convert into a bed. Very well put together, aren't they? Like that. Your big bathroom again. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, nice fans these are. Right guys, we shall carry on a bit further. Catch you in a bit. So we are from Brown Hills, the Kentucky Swift. Based on a Fiat Ducato six wheeler. So it's a tag axle, big old bus isn't it? From Brown Hills. got a big big garage area on the back end some other vans here as well this for a garage area on the back end get the fastening down so you can tie things down big bed on the back there and they say yeah it's a Kentucky Swift price of this one is a hundred thousand just over it's a five tonner I believe five thousand kilos eight point nine nearly nine meter um, four seater four sleeping four traveling belts yeah we'll get in here and have a look I mean it's the 894 model that this one is Kentucky Swift it's a nice one this one mm -hmm. so yeah let's go inside cruise control aircon obviously uh, swivel seats Again, nice interior. I like the leather interior. And it's Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Got all our red lockers by the looks of it. Plenty of storage space, haven't you? Got two swivel seats, auto box. As I say, on the Decato. Nice big hatch area there, isn't there? Aircon. Pulls up probably, yeah. You got, again, you got to. Plenty of storage. Good size sink in there. Mm -hmm. 
Full cooker again. Good oh. Cooker. Full rings. Yeah, yeah, with the uh, oh, three rings and an induction hob again. Yeah. Pull that one. <laughs> Got a Toilet's microwave. Really oh, sorry? Toilet's really high. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All the controls and everything up there. Obviously, you got your fridge, freezer. Some of these do both ways, look. So it goes either way. Which is clever, isn't it? You've got the, got the freezer at the top. Overhead storage. Again, where the electrics are. Yeah. And you've got your, your bathroom there. Well, it's your toilet, isn't it? That side and sink. Yeah. And then this other side is your shower room, which has got you to shut the door again. I'm just going to, uh... <laughs> that's good that it's got your fans, nice bath, nice shower cubicle that isn't it, and obviously you've got your double bed, lockers at the sides, it's a big old bus isn't it literally, and you've got another one here as well so you can shut that off, finished now, oh we got a linen light, a linen light, Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, isn't it? I like these tag axles. They're big though, and they're long. Some campsites you'd, we'd struggle with with some campsites. So when we park in, I mean, ours is seven meters, isn't it? Yeah. This is virtually nine, I think it is. I like you the, should get an automatic one. Yeah, I could do with an auto, definitely. This must be the table that comes up. Just here, look down here. Exactly. Yeah, it folds out and comes up. Mm -hmm. So sleeping-wise, it's only four. So two at the back, and obviously this area must go into a bed area here. Yeah. So yeah, it's nice isn't it? It is nice. Right, we'll carry on, see what else we can find eh? <laughs> Catch you a bit. Right guys, I think we're heading back now. I just can see what's on. Is this tomorrow? Oh, Saturday. Here we go. It's tomorrow. Caroline Mills. Cat. Cat's on again tomorrow, so yeah. i like to listen to Cat again. That's 11 to 11.30. 500 mile walk in the National Three Peaks. Yeah. Welsh Wildlife Adventures with Lizzie Davey. So that's the lineup for tomorrow, tomorrow if you're coming, Saturday, guys. Saturday the 26th of February. Right. And I think for today, that's about us. It's just coming up to five o'clock. We should within the next hour, obviously. So we'll uh, we'll head out, eh? Yeah. It's been a good day, and it? it's gone quiet now, as you can see it's from it's earlier on. Good day. Five o'clock just gone now. But it was designed as a This is the time to have a look around, really. Yeah. But we are whacked now. We are walking. very tired now, to be honest. So when I get home, get this out for you. And tomorrow, we're going to be doing caravans. It's not going to be anywhere different tomorrow because we're back here. Back here tomorrow. It's going to be caravans and quirky, quirky caravans, caravans and little uh, camper vans, a small little uh, VW uh, yeah. sort of pop-up camper, camper van type ones, the small yeah. ones. So I think we've exhausted now all the motorhomes and A classes and purpose built motorhomes and built yep. motorhomes and camper Just vans. <laughs> so tomorrow we'll go to them. So catch you tomorrow. Have a good night and Bye. we'll see you tomorrow.